Hey guys, Julia here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm setting up my bullet journal for May with a telephone theme. Kind of vintage, kind of retro, pastel vibes. A special thank you to my patrons for helping me choose this theme. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and want to plan along with me. Okay, we're opening up to the cover spread and to start things off, I'm gonna be pasting in some layers of paper here. You're going to see quite a bit of this like tan paper that looks a bit like newsprint. I really love it because it's quite thin and the color feels a little more neutral than like a craft paper color. I actually got this as a gift from my friend and dance instructor when she went to Costa Rica. It's in a spiral notebook and I felt bad at first for mostly using the paper to rip it up and then I thought like it's sort of being sprinkled around and actually being used so I shouldn't really feel bad. So yeah, thank you Jessica. All right, tangent right off the bat, it's gonna be one of those voiceovers. But as you can see, I'm writing out the quote, which is a partial quote from the first things that were said over a telephone connection. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. So yeah, took out the Mr. Watson because literally no reference, no direct inspiration here for the lettering, just a mixture of styles because that's always just fun for me to do. So I'm working on a old style rotary payphone and I'm trying not to do a lot of outlines this month for a softer look overall. Most of the doodling is going to be using colors of Tombos and Calliographs to build shape rather than relying on the outline to get the point across. I do use partial outlines here and there to speed up the process a bit. the May title just gonna do a sideways script situation no real reason it sort of it sort of ties in to the page on the left and gives the whole thing a little balance since the styles are pretty different generally also using craft paper here for an accent So spoiler, we're actually going to be visiting that spread again a little later, but for now, we are moving on to the monthly calendar, lining her up with a craft paper moment and getting the basic grid in. The boxes are a little taller than I typically do them. These are six spaces wide by seven spaces tall, and I'm using a brown fine liner to soften it up a touch. For the day headers, I'm gonna be using these stickers from this month's kit. The header stickers down on the bottom are spaced out six across, and the way that these work, you could easily cut them to a Monday start if that's sort of your jam as far as calendar layout goes. side of the page cutout thing I'm doodling in a phone booth in this lovely minty color this is actually one of my favorite Tombow colors 243 if you got it <laughs> but these phone booths when they're red anyways always make me think of London and it's sort of funny that it's green here because apparently the original booths that were made were green and silver and they were all supposed to be green and silver but it was rejected because they, I guess, could be a road hazard and they just didn't stand out enough, so they made them red. Fun fact, yeah.
make this, you know, a bullet journal centric phone booth. Instead of doing the crown up top, I'm doing the 05 for the fifth month. And then instead of writing telephone in that little placard above the phone booth door, it's just gonna say May. So we love any opportunity to pull in the bullet journal magic indicator stuff. <laughs> I don't know y'all, it's, it's just, it's a fun voiceover today. Okay, we got some history in there and here's more nerdy history stuff for you as I work on the header for my trackers and the night log. This little doodle is inspired by the original Bell Telephone Company logo and it's the only thing that I used black for in the whole setup actually. It's always fun making a logo reference here and there because I mean, the career and all, like graphic designer here, gotta do it. But the layout here is a little bit different this time around to sort of mimic the verticalness of the phone booth. The yearly focus categories are running vertically along the spine and then the habit trackers are in this tall grid with the days running along the side and we're gonna have some editing, bam, some editing magic there for this tracker layout. Yeah, and I'm just finishing up everything with the labels, but I guess to finish it off, I, I really like the way that this looks as a spread. I really enjoyed this layout. So we've already got some prep work in here on that Costa Rica paper. I'm just gonna call it that every time I use it. Only you guys will know that story, but it's now the Costa Rica paper. Anyway, another rotary phone doodle happening over both paper types here. And this one is like an old desk phone. Same strategy here, just going back over certain areas to create some sort of shape and using partial outlines in the same colors when I need to. This is the phone that my patrons and I drew together for this month's doodle tutorial as well. Just a quick little fact, but yeah, this is my work dashboard spread where I keep up with longer term design projects and where we are with each project. And then the bottom two areas are for a list of monthly invoices that need to go out and any upcoming projects that I need to keep in mind. Pretty straightforward layout, but the colors just jazz it up a bit. And then moving on to the notes page I'm doodling in a rotary dial candlestick style phone this one was invented in 1905 and it was the third sort of major model of telephone and was the first rotary dial telephone so you didn't have to be like transferred to an operator to connect you anyway I really loved how this doodle came out used the same technique I've been playing with all along and to tie in all those different paper layers and sort of the idea of taking the message before voicemail was invented. I'm using some light green dot grid paper, the Costa Rica paper and craft paper to section out the notes page this month. And I don't necessarily have to split the information in any particular way, but I thought it just went with the theme in a pretty little clever, subtle way. Okay, some last detail in there and this spread is done and I think this is my favorite work and note spread that I've done in quite a while. There's a nice synergy going on. It's colorful too, I guess, but not too blaring. I'm just going to pat myself on the back for this one because I kind of love it. Flipping over to what is usually the last spread of the setup, but I've got a little something extra for you after this, so hang in there. But this is now my old faithful weekly layout where I get a nice balance between some doodle space and maximizing function. So up top is where any meetings or events go. As far as looks, it's sort of like 
a week getting pulled straight out of that calendar page. And then below that on the left, I have sort of breakout lists for YouTube and Patreon. Of course, if you're not dabbling in content creation, these could be work specific or house cleaning specific, anything that needs its own sort of space. And we're going way back to like 1667 with this sort of first historic development when it comes to telephones, the string telephone. It's definitely a staple like kids craft project these days, but I thought it would be fun to pay homage to this like non-electrical telephone wonder. For the rolling task list header, I'm putting each letter in a little telephone button doodle. And yeah, just another cute little way to tie that in there. And then finally, I wanted to sort of shoot up the timeline a bit and do a Nokia style telephone from the 90s. I think my first cell phone was something like a Nokia 3310, something like that. <laughs> that came out in like 2000, but it was basically the same style of phone that this is. Ooh, so that's a good one for me to be nosy about. What was your first cell phone? Let me know down in the comments and I'll use your comments as inspiration for future weekly spreads this month. And you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna see how the weekly spreads turn out. that little something extra was actually just redoing the quote page. I was sitting on it and even though I liked how it looks, it just didn't vibe as well with the theme as a whole. So luckily it was easy to peel off that dot green paper and sort of redo it. The second go at the quote and this kind of quick hand lettering, writing, handwriting style just didn't work either. So I went with layering different paper, just with different words on different sheets of paper. And I even found some pink dot grid paper. I actually did a whole video on this pastel notebook. And yeah, this, that, this whole theme actually reminds me of the papers in that notebook, but I'll leave the link for that up in the cards and down in the description if you wanna check that out. But I definitely think this pastel paper and the whole style of this quote fits the overall theme a little better, or did you like the other one better? Let me know. <laughs> but yeah, this sort of gives me nice, pleasant ransom note vibes, but yeah, we'll take it. Here's a look at the a cover spread redo. Before we hop into the final flip through, I wanted to show you guys the kit from this month. Patrons get monthly printables, cover pages, and coloring spreads that pop right into your journal, as well as extra content and recently doodle tutorials, which has been super fun. The two highest tiers also get monthly stickers mailed right to their doorstep. Here's the decorative, functional, and die cut sticker for this month. These will also be available in my Etsy shop on May 1st. We would love to have you in the collection at any tier. And you can find information on how to join up in the cards and down in the description. But on to the flip through, I'm loving the spreads this month. I feel like the rest of the weekly spreads are going to be super minimal because I'm going to be on the go a lot in May. So it's all downhill from here. But give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. If you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.